Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the notes for Monday, October the 16th. Today's learning target was I can solve rational equations. Again, I can solve rational equations. I'm going to pull some examples off page 45 in your notebook. Page 45 is coming from this page. No, we didn't get to all these. We only got to four of these today. So I'm going to take four of these off here and do it on notebook paper, okay? All right. So we're going to look at number one to begin with. Number one is so I'm just going to write it on the paper. 1 over n squared equals 3 over 4n squared minus n minus 2 over 4n squared. Okay. Okay. Now you can see that. Now we did these in algebra 2 last year and remember when you have a rational this is a rational equation because you have terms that are in the form of a fraction. And you want to get rid of the fraction. You want it to become something easy so you can work with. So what you do is you examine the denominator. Examine the denominator. You have n squared and 4n squared. You can think, can the two things I see that they all have is either n squared or 4n squared. You have to think, can I make n squared become 4n squared? Can I make 4n squared become n squared? Well, in fact, I can make this become 4n squared by multiplying this by 4. So my common denominator here would be 4n squared. So my CD would be 4n squared. So what I'm going to do is multiply everything by that common denominator so I can get rid of these fractions. Okay? The n squares cancel out. I'm left with 4 times 1, which is 4 equals the 4n squares cancel out, I'm left with a 3. Now how do I get that 4? Well the n squares cancel out here, 4 times 1 is 4. The 4n squares cancel out here. These 4n squares cancel out here. So it's a minus this. And the reason I put this in parentheses here is a minus that. What does that minus do? Changes all the signs. That's going to be a negative n, that becomes a positive 2. 4 equals 3 and 2 gives me 5. 5 minus n. I move that 5 over. Negative 1 equals negative n. Divide by negative 1. 1 equals n. Alright, I'm going to look at number 4 next. 2 over m squared minus 14m plus 48 equals 2 over m squared minus 14m plus 48 minus 1 over m minus 6. The first thing I would do on this is to factor my denominator to see what I'm working with here. That's, that's easy. That's going to be m minus 6 and m minus 8 equals 2 over m minus 6 m minus 8 Okay, now look at your common denominators. You see that m minus 6 and m minus 8 is common throughout it. Why don't you think a minute about what you think the common denominator will be? I can't make this become that. And I can't make that become that. So when you can't make each other become the other lot, up here we could, the n and the 4n squared, but here we can't. So when you cannot, when you cannot make them, you settle for both of them. So my CD here would be m minus 6 and m minus 8. So I'm going to multiply everything by those common denominators. These cancel out and these cancel out. So I'm left with a 2 over here. That cancels out, that cancels out, leaving a 2. This cancels out, leaving a negative 1 times the m plus 8. That looks a whole lot better than what we started with. That's why we do this process. Now I'm going to simplify 
Negative 1 times m is negative m. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. Combine like terms. Divide by negative 1. Negative 8 equals m. I'm going to look at one more, number seven. We have one third minus x plus eight over x plus six equals four x plus 12 over three x plus 18. Once again, first thing I'm going to do is factor my denominators. So one third minus x plus eight the only one I can factor is this right here. I'm going to GCF it. You say, how about the top? I'm only really worried about the denominator so I can see what my common denominator is. I have a 3x plus 6 and a 3nx plus 6 right here. I can't make that become that, and I can't make that become that. So I'm going to settle for both of them. So my CD in this case would be 3 times x plus 6. So I'm going to multiply everything by that. Let it when things cancel out over here, so you're left with 4x plus 12. Here the 3's cancel out, you're left with 1 times x plus 6. Remember, that's a negative. The x plus 6 can cancel out, you're left with that 3. So you got to say 3 times, so I'm going to put a 3 right there. If I get that negative. Now I'm going to distribute x plus 6 minus 3x minus 24 equals 4x plus 12. Combine my terms, negative 2x, 6 and negative 24, we give you a negative 18. I'm going to bring this up here so you can see it. Negative 2x minus 18 equals 4x plus 12. And x equals what about that? Negative five. Okay. Your homework on this tonight is page fifty four in your notebook. Numbers 26 through 31, omit 30. It is page 54, numbers 26 through 31, omit 30. That is your homework. We'll continue with this tomorrow. Remember tree quizzes tomorrow.